Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm finally recording on my new camera, so sorry if it sounds terrible. Today, after a long time of wait, I finally have another story time for you guys. This one will be about a traumatic experience I had in 5th grade. This takes place one year after I broke my arm in my last story time, which I will link below. So here's a little backstory. So I'm a big spelling kid, you know, I've always enjoyed spelling tests, which, you know, is not average for the normal student because, you know, everyone hates spelling tests because they're just extra tests. But me, I like spelling tests. I studied so hard for them and I always aced them. But when it came to the spelling bee, I failed pretty frequently. You see, for my school spelling bee, you had to take a pretest before actually doing the oral part of it. And from third grade to fifth grade, the years I was in my school, I failed them each time. In third grade, you know, misspelled words. Fourth grade, misspelled words. There's too many and there's too many students getting in to not have me qualified. <laughs> But then in 5th grade, something different happened. You see, I had just finished taking my test, and as most people do with tests, I, I think, I rushed out of the test room, went to my phone, and checked if I spelled something right, because I had never heard of that word. It turns out I spelled it wrong, and so I already had my hopes down, you know, I already knew I was not getting in. But then lucky for me, so many kids failed that I actually got in with a few misspelled words. Yes, that sounds really sad, but truth is, it is sad. So I was feeling pretty happy after that, you know? I was so excited to finally get to do the oral spelling bee. I had never done it before, or really anything like that, and, you know, I was nervous as usual. But, you know, first of all, I had to learn the words. So I spent months studying the words and preparing for the spelling bee, because I was not gonna fail. Spelling is a passion of mine for some reason, which is really strange. The words are pretty simple because I was in fifth grade, but they're still pretty hard for me at the time. But after a few months, the time came closer to the day, and I had to be ready. So the time comes of the spelling bee. It's the day of, and it takes place at night in my school's auditorium. We have to wear signs, and I got there pretty late, so I had to use tape instead of string to hold up my sign. And since I was late, I was second to last to go to spell. You know, more time to prepare, as I thought. Just a little reminder, I am in the oldest grade of my school, so everyone gets ready to spell. We're all sitting on seats on the stage, and we're just waiting for our turn. There's this one kid in my grade who's won every year so far, so I was pretty scared. One by one, students go up to spell, and everything is pretty simple because it's the first round. For example, one of the words is village, which, funny enough, I got confused because I thought it was spelled differently. By the way, it's spelled V-I-L-L-A-G-E. For some reason, I did not know that at the time. <laughs> just to give you a little insight, there were kids there of all grades, from third to fifth. And I was one of the oldest kids there, so I should have known all the words, right? So it's finally my time to go. I stand up, I walk to the stage microphone, and everything seems to be going well. Your word is... Superb? Superb. You know, a very simple word. My mind was so focused on spelling this word that I could not even think. But this was a simple word. I was gonna get through this. I go to spell it, and this is what I said. Superb. S-U-R-P-E-R-B. Superb. 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 Really? Get off, the Get off the stage right now. Are they really in fifth grade? Eliza, where's the button? Um, I, I don't know. We gotta signify they're out. Um... Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I spelled it. S-U-R-P-E-R-B. I spelled superb like superb. I disappointed everyone. <laughs> Just a quick reminder that I was the only kid to get out in the first round. The only kid. One of the only fifth graders in the spelling bee. My mom was there recording this. All the other students' parents were there watching their kids' success while I was there failing. I basically embarrassed myself in front of every other kid there. I had gone and done an irreversible mistake, as you might say. Yeah, and my mind was so blank, I could not even process what was happening. They just told me I was wrong, I walked off stage, found my mom, walked outside, and silently sobbed to myself. That's a lie, I didn't cry, but I was just so in shock, and my mom probably laughed at me too. 
I, I will never forget that day. It lives so vividly in my mind and I hate it. And that concludes one of, if not the worst days of my life. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed wallowing in my pain. It sure was quite the experience at the time. Why did I think I'd do good at an oral spelling bee? I don't know. This is probably why I always ace the spelling test on paper and not out loud. Now my family mocks me with the word superb and I can never say that word with confidence or dignity again. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my pain and agony in LPS form. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you have any tips using cameras because I'm still new to this and if the, 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 if the quality is terrible, I'm so sorry. I will see y'all next week. Bye! <laughs>